Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on types of functions in discrete mathematics. It is one of the most important concept in discrete mathematics. There are four types of functions are available in discrete mathematics. First one is one to one function. Second one is on to function. Third one is many to one function and fourth one is identity function. Then we go for each and every function with one example. Okay. So first one is a one to one function. Okay. Let A and B are two sets. A function F mapping from A to B is said to be a one to one function. If every element of set A, there is an unique element in set B. Hence, we can say that F is a one-to-one -one function. Okay. So, every element of set A means that is A, B, C. There is an unique element in set B is one, two, three. So, A has a unique element in set B is one. B has a unique element that is 2 in set B. C has a unique element 3 in set B. So this type of function is called as 1 to 1 function. Okay. A is associated with 1. B is associated with 2. C is associated with 3. All the elements of set A. So there is an unique element if for every element of set A, there is an unique element in set B. So hence, we can say that this is a one-to-one -one function. One-to-one -one function is also called as injective function. Okay, next. Now consider this is, this is the example. Okay, in this example, A and B are two sets. A has the elements. A, B, C, D and B has elements 1, 2, 3. Okay. A has a unique element 1 in set B. B has associated with unique element that is 2 in set B. C has unique element 3 in set B. D has also associated with element 3 in set B. So, C and D have associated with only one element in set B. Okay. So, this is not a one-to-one -one function. Okay. Two or more elements of set A is associated with one element in set B. Hence, we can say that this is not a a one to one function. So one to one function is like this. Okay. Every element of set A has a unique element in set B. So then we can say that it is a one to one function. We can say that in other words, okay, for every element of a set A, there is a unique image in set B. Okay. Here A image is a 1, B image is 2, C image is 3. Okay. Here A image is 1, B image is 2, C image 3, D image is also 3. Unique image, but C image is 3, D image is 3. Hence, we can say that it is not a 1 to 1 function. Okay. Next, go for on to function. Okay. A function f from a to b is said to be onto function if every element of set b there is a, a pre image in set a under function f. Okay, so that means here a and b are two sets. A function f mapping from a to b. Okay. For every element of set B, there is a pre-image in set A. So, hence we can say that this function is called as onto function. So, for example, 1 has the pre-image, 
ये वन हैज द प्री इमेज बी टू हैज द प्री इमेज सी ओके ऑल द एलिमेंट ऑफ सेट बी देर इज ए प्री इमेज इन सेट ए ओके हेंस वी कैन से दैट दिस फंक्शन इज कॉल्ड एज ए ऑन टू फंक्शन ओके ऑन टू फंक्शन इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज सब्जेक्टिव फंक्शन ओके नेक्स्ट check whether this function is on to function or not okay so here one does not have pre image in set a okay according to the definition we can say that every element of set b there is a pre image in set a but one element one in set b does not have pre image in set a so that hence we can say that it is not a one to function but two has the pre image a and b three has the pre image c but element one does not have pre image in set a hence we can say that it is not a uh, on to function okay next one third function is many to one function okay here x and y are two sets a function f from x to y is said to be many to one function if two or more elements of set x is associated with only one element in set b set y so hence we can say that this is a many to one function okay here a and b are two elements in set x they are associated with only one element in y that is one okay here c is associated with three d is associated with the four but here a and b here a and b are two elements that are associated with only one element in set y okay so this is a many to one function next another example for many to one function here a and b are two elements that are associated with the element 1 in set y c and d are two elements in x that are associated with the element 3 in set y okay hence we can say that these are the two examples for many to one function if two or more elements of set x y is associated with only one element in set b so that set y hence we can say that the function f from x to y is called as many to one function okay next type of function is bijective function a bijective function means a function f from a to b is said to be bijective function if f is both one to one and on to so that is nothing but bijective function for example here a and b are two sets a function f from a to b is said to be bijective or a one to one correspondence if f is both one to one and on to functions we can say in other words a function f from a to b is said to be bijective function if every element of set a has a unique image in set b if and if for every element of set b has a unique pre image in set a hence we can say that f is bijective function for a one to one correspondence capital a set a has elements a b c d set b has elements 1 2 3 4 first how can you say that this is 1 to 1 so a has a image 1 b has a image 3 c has a image 2 d has a image 4 for every element of set a is associated with unique element in set b hence we can say that f is 1 to 1 okay next one how can you say that uh, this function f is on to 
every element of set B has a unique pre-image in set A. One has a pre-image A, two has a pre-image C, three has a pre-image B, four has a pre-image D. Hence, we can say that F is on two. Okay. Now, F is both one to one and on two. Hence, we can say that it is a bijective function R or R one to one correspondence. Okay. A bijective function is also called as one to one correspondence. Now, consider this example. So, this is a bijective function or not? Okay, this is not a bijective function because x has a image 1, y has a image 3, z has a image 2. So now it is 1 to 1 function. Next, on to function. 1 has a pre-image x, 2 has a pre-image z, 3 has a pre-image y, but 4 does not have pre-image in a. Hence, we can say that it is not a onto function. Only it is a one-to-one -one function, but it is not a onto function. Hence, we can say that it is not a bijective function. Okay. Now, we go for identity function. Okay. Identity function is defined on one set that is itself. Okay. So, we can take only one set that is A. So, a function f from a to a. Okay, this is a, this is a. Okay, a function f from a to a is said to be identity function if every element of set a has a image to itself. Okay, so that is nothing but one to one function. Okay, so this is set a, this is a set a, a function mapping from a to a if every element of if every element of set a has a image to itself okay one has a image one two has a image two three has a image three okay image of every element of set a to itself is called as a identity function hence we can write it as f of a is equal to a Okay, so the identity function on set A is denoted by capital I suffix set A. Okay, so this is called as identity function. Okay, this can be defined on only one set. Okay, mapping from set A to set A. Next one. Last one is constant function. Constant A function f from A to B is said to be constant function if all the elements of set A has only one image in set B. Okay, that means if all the elements of set A is associated only one with only one element in set B. So then this type of function has a constant function. Okay, here A and B are two sets. A has the elements A, B, C. B has only one element. Okay, A image is X. B image is X. C image is X. That means if all the elements of set A is associated with only one element in set B. So then this type of function is called as constant function. Okay. So up to now, we are studying about uh, six types of functions. First one is one to one. Second one is on to. Third one is uh, many to one. Fourth one is bijective. Fifth one is identity. And sixth one is constant function. These are the six types of constant functions. In the next video, we are checking some examples whether it is a one to one, on to, bijective, constant identity functions or not. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel link. So, develop Srinivasarao. Thank you.